The late 30s, early 40s westerns typically depicted characters of humble origins and they rose up to right wrongs. They mustered the strength to get the job done and overcame great difficulties, usually being the underdog in the storyline. But their six shooters were a symbol of a good guy persona to the kids of that era. Father had given me this Hubbly Cat pistol some years back. Uh, it was his when he was a kid. And recently I discovered it wasn't working properly. I tried looking for some tips online to figure out what was wrong, but uh, wasn't finding too much info. Cat pistol is easy enough to disassemble, but once the grip sections were removed, uh, the spring steel holding the hammer section popped up and the internal workings went all over out of the place. So there was no way for me really to see at that point how the pieces sat in their proper spots. I did a, a Google search under the patents for the Hubley cap pistol and I found one that was similar to the cap pistol that I have here. It's not identical but the layout is very similar. So laying out the parts too as well, going over them, I was finally able to figure out that it was a trigger spring that had broken. So I just typed in the Hubley Texan trigger spring into eBay and found some uh, reproduction replacement parts from sellers there. As you can pretty well see here, it's easier to show you the process of how that trigger spring hooks through there. This is why too it's pretty key to have a, a blueprint or a patent there to look at uh, to reassemble it. And because of the design of the uh, spring steel piece that fits into the notch at the base of the hammer, after getting everything back together it's prone to just popping right back out again. So. I came up with a workaround solution, which was just to take a strip of cardstock and lay it over the area. This kind of holds it down into place. And then uh, using your other hand, you're putting the other half of the grip section over it. And once those two halves are lined up, you just carefully start to slide and wiggle that cardstock out.
Here's a top-down view of the replacement trigger spring and uh, when the cap pistol here is opened. So the cap pistol is made out of cast iron uh, and it's been nickel plated. It weighs about a pound and four ounces and measures a total of nine inches long. The grips are just plastic, they've got like an ivory tone there to it. And the revolver turns as the trigger is pulled. There's a lot of scroll work pattern you can see here in the detail over the whole pit pistol and uh, sculptural details here like bullets that are actually in the chamber here you can see from in the front view. So I hope this helps uh, if you're trying to figure out what's wrong with your vintage uh, cap pistol. It uh, may not be the exact problem but at least hopefully this would give you a starting point to try to diagnose and figure out what's going wrong or how to put it all back together. Thanks for watching this special edition video and uh, you'll see other videos that focus on 70s to 90s vintage toys here at Toy Tinker Tim. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing. Thanks.